I'm gonna talk to my community, for example, right? So I'll start to kind of like get into the role, get into her character. So adopt an alter ego. What do I mean by that? It's a very simple technique that I can suggest a lot of you guys to do. On the days that you feel very low on motivation, on the days that you don't feel like doing anything, and sometimes we get very discouraged, right? There are days like that. So this technique has worked wonders for me and my body confidence girls. Hello, Seti. Well done on your video, like you're driving. So Seti is also one of our body confidence girls is you know on the days that you feel so defeated feel so low and whatever that you're feeling right now pick a person that you idolize pick a person that inspires you uh, pick someone that actually has the perfect embodiment of all the qualities that you admire right for example you can pick a celebrity for example uh beyonce a lot of us girls look up to Beyonce, right? Or Oprah Winfrey. Uh, just an example, or Michelle Obama, for example, because they're the perfect role models for, you know, um, for girls. You know, they basically, who they are, empower us to be strong, to be independent, and to have, to voice up, right? Just an example. And when it comes to healthy lifestyle, you can pick a, I don't know, fitness influence, someone that you really admire someone who's got that body and mind quality that you really admire right like for example right i'm just you know, trying to think of someone yes pick a person you might that's right sati uh for example um blog Lati, cassie ho everybody knows blog Lati, is cassie ho right so for example if i pick someone like cassie i'm gonna adopt her as my alter ego so as like a role play for me on the days or maybe every day you know in order for me to reprogram myself in order for me to sort of always stay on track and keep that momentum going even on the days i don't feel like i don't feel like exercising i don't feel like eating well i don't feel like doing anything right especially those low days i can imagine myself as cassie from blog lattes what will Cassie do? What will she say? What will she eat? And I really love, I have so much respect and admiration for Cassie Ho from Blog Lattes. Then I will actually adopt her personality and, you know, her basic personality, her traits. And I might channel that, okay? So I channel her personality and everything. And I'll let that empower me. I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll dress like her today, right? Because it really makes me feel like I'm always ready to do Pilates and to work out. And by you dressing in your workout gear, it increases the chance of you working out. Even on your lazy days, if you just put on a pair of like leggings and if you put on your sports bra, the chance of you working out is much higher than the days that you wear your PJ. Okay, <laughs> I know we're on lockdown right now. So try that. Okay, so I could like say, you know, dress up like Cassie, maybe put my hair in the, I don't know, whatever her hair she likes to have. And then, you know, put on my bubbly personality and tell myself that today I'm going to make a protein pancake because she does that a lot, right? And today I'm going to do like a 10 minute workout that's going to like refresh my mind and my body. Okay. And I'm like, you know, very motivated to go live on my Facebook, on my Instagram. I'm going to talk to my community, for example, right? So I'll start to kind of like get into the role, get into her character. Yeah. I know some of you might think that, oh, are you like faking it? You know, Sometimes we do need to have that fake it till you make it experience in order for us to step out of our own comfort zone because we only know this much, right? Everything that we know and everything that we have been practicing has only gotten us this far. Now, if we start to copy in a good way, if we start to like uh, basically model off the girls, the people that we admire, wouldn't that be a good uplift? Wouldn't that be a good empowerment for ourselves as well? So if we look at it that way, there's nothing wrong with faking it or, you know, like getting to character or pretending to be that person. If it's for the, uh, the sake of having a good outcome, right? If, say, for example, you pretending to be Michelle Obama, the way she dresses, the way she thinks, her attitude and everything, right? You take on that persona 
and the outcome is you are having a more productive day you are acting more independent you can make a more sound decision just because you are playing the role of Michelle Obama then that's fantastic right that is a great um, alter ego adoption there's nothing wrong with that I'm not saying that you will become that person because you fake it so much you will still be yourself at the end of the day but somehow parts of that alter ego will start to rub off onto you the good way right so that it will become your new personality in a good way so that you actually always motivated you're always like driven to do things to work out to eat well right and also to think more independently and strongly with a new mindset so if that alter ego is doing all these amazing changes and benefits to you why not okay so i want to hear from you guys write in the comment below who will be your alter ego all right i just give some examples here some of you um some of my body confidence girls have been speaking about like people like j-lo amazing love j-lo beyonce all right and uh, selena gomez from erica who else uh oh angelina jolie so that's uh, rena's favorite uh, so many so many amazing girls right so um if you're a gentleman who's watching this right now, let us know who will be your alter ego, right? How about Sati? Who would you pick as your alter ego and get into her character? <laughs> I want to know, right? And try this. On the days, or even on the non-low feeling days, you can try this. Try this right now. Try this right after you watch this video and see how you feel, okay? There's no attachment, no obligation or whatsoever. Because if you know this person really well, um, Maybe because you've watched this person on YouTube, on television so much, right? Just get into character, right? And start to operate like that person, even just for a couple of hours and see how you feel, okay? You will start to, you will start to see the changes. You start to see, you know, the magic happening. Okay, so that's all for me today, okay, for the personal development talk, right? Here, I'm not teaching you guys to fake something. I'm teaching you guys how you can actually reprogram yourself by learning, by learning from the people that you admire. And by which I mean that you're actually taking on the good qualities because you're inspired by them, right? So how can you actually apply your inspiration, whatever the good at, into your own life, right? So J-Lo, right? So Sati, maybe J-Lo is your inspiration, all right? Let's see how you take on that persona, how you take on that alter ego, all right? So thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Pro tomorrow we have Bobo's amazing cooking recipe. And you guys have seen that she's going to show you guys how to make a chocolate mousse. Healthy dessert with Bobo. And Sunday we have Lydia coming here live to teach us uh, some more amazing nutrition tips. So you guys are always entertained and always educated and always empowered inside this group. Okay, so I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.